is cell for example this is cell okay i think i, I want me to repeat it just see both together now oxygen bubble sorry gas bubble here oxygen is there on the surface gas film fluid film both are together i have shown this is a fluid purely and this is the fluid uh, which is near to the cell boundary we have to give some terminologies to understand no so we call it like this what do you call it cy is the gas film cr is the uh, gas fluid phase boundary and then comes a fluid film cf is the fluid film cf on both sides you can see okay then comes cz got it so i will be defining them little more in the concepts here so we all have to understand that whatever we are, we are talking today is oxygen transfer rate oxygen transfer rate is nothing but how much oxygen is getting transferred into the fermentation medium it is given by a formula called na is equal to kl ia into c minus cl let me expand it i'll come back to the formula do not worry na is the volume dependent mass transfer it's measured in millimolars of oxygen per liter per hour means how much of volume of oxygen transfer will happen in the bio reactor total volume of mass transfer total volume how much of oxygen is transferred into the bio reactor is what is going to be accounted whether it's inside the medium whether it's inside the cell or on, on the cell or on the bubble everything put together this is the meaning I'll repeat again whether it's on the bubble whether it's in the liquid phase medium or gas flame film or on the cell surface all that including included is called na volume dependent mass transfer millim how is it millimolar of oxygen per liter per hour so here you are seeing the formula expansion kl transfer coefficient at phase boundary means how much kinetics it has got okay how much kinetics is is present you know like that a is a specific exchange surface how many oxygen bubbles will come to the phase boundary is what is that a specific exchange surface so oxygen is there on the bubble imagine that bubble will carry so much of phase boundary okay how much kinetics with what kinetics is going to enter i'll put it across like this can you understand it see i um, i think I, this will be more explanatory so more bubbles which are there on the so they are coming and occupying on the surface no the kinetics of push of the oxygen with low surface tension on the surface of the bubble is kl that is called kl transfer coefficient at phase boundary a is the specific exchange surface specific exchange surface between bubble and the liquid okay the liquid which is surrounded same way you reverse it imagine this is a cell and from here oxygen is coming on to the cell same thing we have to understand okay similarly this is called oxygen transfer transfer coefficients come back to the formula expansion here kl into a is a volumetric oxygen transfer coefficient kl into a means what what is there on the boundary and what is there outside both together is called kl into a volume volumetric oxygen transfer coefficient okay imagine till here means we have come to the formula where you have understood that oxygen is transferred from bubble to the liquid okay what is c c star i mean c saturation value of dissolved oxygen in the phase boundary in the phase boundary how much saturation has happened saturation okay in the phase boundary it can be the one which is the gas liquid phase or it can be the fluid cell phase anyone okay, that's the saturation value cl is the concentration of dissolved oxygen dissolved gas concentration cl is concentration of dissolved gas so it means i'll come back to that imagine there is something oxygen which is there on this surface like this okay that has to come into the fluid that is coming to the fluid that's what it means to say here c is the saturation value of dissolved gas in the phase boundary how much of oxygen it is a thousand is there only 100 went into the medium that is cl 1000 is c star 100 is cl the concentration of dissolved gas we all know it's going to be sparingly soluble therefore we talk about this okay this is accounted in the form of what oxygen transfer rate millimolar of oxygen per liter per hour this is what is oxygen transfer rate okay so please remember oxygen transfer rate is nothing but the volume of the total oxygen 
is equal to KL is what? KL is the transfer coefficient, the kinetics. Okay. Mm. Into A is nothing but the specific oxygen uh, exchange surface. Okay. And CL is the C is the saturation value and CL is the concentration of dissolved gas. That is called oxygen transfer rate. There can be a uh, small topic on this. Of course, they will not ask directly whatever I have tried to explain here. They will not ask like uh, explain about this phases and all. But you should know. Whenever the question is asked on aeration, whenever you find some questions related to aeration, please follow up this formula. Please draw this graph. Please draw this picture which helps you in understanding what is meant by oxygen transfer rate. Okay. I think uh, with this small uh, part of the study, you would have understood what is the meaning of uh, temperature regulation and what is the importance? See, please remember, temperature goes high, bubbles will be affected. When temperature goes high, the bubbles will be affected. When bubbles are affected, oxygen will not come onto the surface of the cell, surface of the bubble. Okay, so oxygen cannot come. When bubble breaks, how is oxygen going to come? Isn't it? So, there is no exchange, no diffusion properly. So, bubbles have to be there. Okay, only then, due to low surface tension, they will come and occupy. Otherwise, they will escape into the head space. There is no benefit of the whole process. Okay, and that is the reason. So, cells should get the benefit of sparing the soluble oxygen. Keep this in mind. I think with this uh, aspect, uh, you would have understood what I mean to talk about the oxygen, role of imp oxygen, the importance of oxygen. Good. Okay, students, so, so that's, you get this uh, importance of the bioreactor. These are the bubbles. In the face of the bubbles, you find the oxygen and this oxygen should diffuse into this medium so total na is nothing but total volume of oxygen or is another oxygen transfer but na is a total oxygen but transfer uh, whatever happens from bubble to the liquid is what is oxygen transfer rate and going to be very sparingly soluble that is why fermentation processes will take its own phase a uh, time but it's always beneficial because microbe can't use all the oxygen whatever you give suddenly isn't it it has to take its it's a phase it has to grow, microbe has to grow and use the oxygen also. So both of them actually go in hand in hand and thus we are able to successfully get a better fermentation process. Externally, we should monitor temperature, pH, all those are important anyway. Okay, I think you got the points what I am trying to explain to you. Uh, uh, please go through the video, understand them. We will again meet for the next study which is uh, related to again the all the basics first let us be strong in the fermentation or bioreactor functioning automatically types you can study it's not a difficult task okay thank you